Hey VC, it's Trevor back with another flat rounded spun um, out on, well, not out on location, but I was out on location earlier. Um, I didn't get any footage, which I thought I was going to do, but it just seemed kind of weird to be recording video while I'm uh, shopping. So um, I hit two stores, well, I hit three stores, but two record stores. Um, one is music related, so um, we'll do that first because um, that was my first stop. Uh, went to a place in Berkeley, Michigan called Puck Hockey. It's the bag they gave me with it. Um, they specialize in hockey jerseys, but not sports so much. Uh, they um, have collaborations with bands um so the first one i got well since i spent over a hundred dollars they give me a hakaki t-shirt but i got two jerseys and they are both amazing uh the first one here and these are authentic they are uh, um how do you say um they are affiliated with the bands. I gave the permission to do this, but I mean, these are just amazing. First one I got, I had to get this one. It was a Metallica Master of Puppets. I mean, that's that's a sewn on patch. I mean, it's almost bulletproof, <laughs> but uh, it's really cool. Um, then they got Master of Puppets patch on the sleeve there. And uh, Metallica, San Francisco, California, established 1981, and on the back, 86 for 1986 for Master of Puppets. And I mean, this is a great quality product here. It's awesome. Um, the other one, this is a. Um, a recent collaboration they just started doing these about i don't know a month or two ago it's still in a bag here they actually had the shirt but or the jersey but not printed yet this one's a silk screen on it but it's still amazing and as a lot of you know black sabbath my all-time favorite band and god you gotta check out or as jc would say you gotta check out this bad larry Look at that. With like the, looks like the Vertigo label behind it. Um, Black Sabbath patch on the, that sleeve. And a Black Sabbath patch there. Hey, looks kind of like that. <laughs> and then, uh, 68 for the formation of the band. So, there's lots of stuff there. I'm going to leave a link to their website. Um, they have collaborations with Allison Chains, Anthrax, um, Slayer, Rob Zombie. There's a Motorhead one I was really eyeing on. Um, uh, Exodus. Um, I know some people like Disturbed. Um, what else was there? System of a Down. A ton of them. I'll leave a link there and... Uh, check them out because they got some really really cool stuff they got hoodies and flannel shirts and baseball caps and uh, customized hockey pucks so on to the albums um first stop was at also in berkeley um a place called flipside records they used to be in clausen and a bunch of political bs was going on so they had to move and they got a place in um berkeley which talking to the owner there um, he's hurting, so he really wants people to come on out. So, uh, he's like, tell your friends. I'm like, I live in the Seattle area, but if I have any friends in the Metro Detroit area, go to Berkeley, go to Flipside Records. They're on Coolidge Road. They're kind of, you have to really look for them, uh, cause they don't have any real big signage yet, but check them out. But uh, first thing I grabbed from them, again, I'm not unpacking these because I gotta take these back to Seattle, 
but the first thing is the 30th anniversary of biohazards urban discipline great um crossover i guess you'd say they were um you know hardcore metal um and the first song i ever heard from this was punishment which is really cool in shades of gray uh chamber spins three uh black and white and red all over great great stuff groovy too uh next one i grabbed was uh, it's not metal at all but it's kind of trip hop uh sneaker pimps becoming x from i want to say 1996 let me see here if i could find it well i want to say 96 97 somewhere in that area uh great album i used to play this tons um back in the day and recently started listening to it again streaming but uh great great album uh check that one out too if you like trip hop or if you want to check out trip hop um and then before i left girl said we have some leftover rsd stuff from last weekend and so i flipped through hoping to find this and they had one copy left and that is nothing face from boy bod um I guess they were actually surprised that they had a copy left. So, um, actually pretty cheap too. This feels really light. I was hoping it'd be a bit heavier, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. And also now I got to find Angel Rap from the April uh, RSD. Hopefully that one I could find available. And also after that, I went to a place called uh, Village Vinyl in warren michigan um cool independent store not huge but man they had a great awesome metal selection um so with them um just to get my john bush era anthrax going i had sound of white noise which i'm sure there's been tons of unboxing videos of those um again great record and then one local to my heart this is an old detroit band uh called the rockets um this is back when radio would support local bands they would play local bands on there like on this one there's two big songs on there called uh desire and taking it back these got played all the time on stations like wabx wrif and wllz so um yeah not bad four bucks and then i bought a shirt from uh village vinyl um i actually know the owner and he's out on tour with negative approach he's their drummer and so i'm gonna surprise him wear the shirt at the show so anyway but that's my video this is going on a lot longer than i was anticipating um but that's my finds um Sunday I am going to a record show that a friend of mine is putting on in the town of Hamtramck that's actually a town surrounded by Detroit um, so gonna see him briefly and uh, buy some records there too so probably put out a video for that too so anyway everyone take care and uh, we'll talk to you later see ya